What's going on guys? United Gaming back with another MLB The Show video. And in this video, we are going to be comparing Finest cards. Yes. So, Finest just came out recently on Friday. And after taking some time to look at them, I've decided to go back to MLB The Show 20 and see which was better than we're going to be comparing each team's finest to its MLB Show 21 version's finest. And basically how this is going to be is I'm going to record all of the guys that are better in um, MLB Show 21st, and then I'm going to go over to MLB Show 21 record all that. So if there's parts where it seems like kind of chunky and blocky, where I'm like, uh, sorry about that, where I'm going to be like, it's going to be cuts are going to be weird. You're going to have to kind of deal with that. Because, um, you know, it, it's not, I'm not recording it in for any particular order. We're just kind of going through seeing who's better and kind of fitting it in and editing later. So, anyway, if you find this video enjoyable, please leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into it. Kicking things off in MLB The Show 21, we got Rafael Iglesias from the Los Angeles Angels. Better than MLB The Show 20, i.e. David Fletcher who had 125 contact and 60 power. This card is definitely better. This card is an end game, um, an end game pitcher, end game relief pitcher. So don't don't even try and argue with me about it. Now for the Astros, it's Kyle Tucker both years, and this is easily the better Kyle Tucker card. The MLB Show 21 only had two stats above 100, and it, it, it's a it's a crime. This card is so much better than the other one. It's not even particularly close. This one is so so much better. The first finest card that will be better is the Oakland Athletics. That's going to be Liam Hendricks. Now, if you wanted to make the argument for Ranky Montas that he is better. I can believe your argument, but I'm going to go with Liam Hendricks here, and I'm honestly going to be honest here at the beginning. Some of these are a little lenient um, towards MLB Show 20, where I'm being a little bit generous, even if they may not deserve it, because if I'm being honest, MLB Show 21 Finest kind of kills this year's Finest, so it's a little unfair in some of them. That's why there's going to be a lot more MLB Show 21 cards than 20 cards. So anyway, Liam Hendricks, great card, better than Montas. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on most, all of them. We got to get through 30 here. We just got to move. For the Blue Jays, it's an easy pick. Marcus Simeon, diamond defense, great speed, great power. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. from MLB Show 20 doesn't even make this a close comparison. Marcus Simeon is running away with this. Don't even give it a second thought. Another kind of weird one with the Atlanta Braves is Freddie Freeman. He did get a finest card last year in Team Affinity, but this one is better, much, much better stats against lefties, much better vision. Now, stats against righties are basically the same, so I can't really dock any points for that. It's better lefty stats, good against righties, good vision, good everything. Freddie Freeman, slight, a, a good chunk better than MLB The Show 20. This shouldn't be as close as I thought it would be. I had to give this a second thought, but Corbin Burns is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, you may be thinking this card's so good. Why would you even think about it? I had to think about it because the Devin Williams card from MLB Show 20 Man, was that a good reliever. He was such a good relief pitcher card. I hope we can get him back as flashback. That's why I had to think about it. And really, then I'm like, oh yeah, Corbin Burns is still probably the best pitcher in the game, so I probably shouldn't be thinking about this. But still, you gotta give some credit to Devin Williams here. Even though he's not gonna be winning this, you just gotta give him some credit. Next up is the Cardinals. He's going up against Giovanni Gallegos' Paul Goldschmidt card. Now, do I think either card is good? No, but I'm going with Goldie because, you know, gold. I like Goldschmidt. And this card is pretty good. I, I I got no comments to say on this. Moving on. You Darvish, this card was amazing for me. I loved him. Much better than Patrick Wisdom. Fight me, Fanatic or Bird, if either of you are watching. You Darvish is better than um, whoever the other guy was. I completely forgot Patrick Wisdom. For the Diamondbacks, it's not particularly close. They gave Zach Gallon a card in MLB Show 20. He says that does not straight up compare to Catel Marte, who is always the glitch MLB show. He's always so, so, so good that I'm not even going to be thinking and entertaining the idea of Zach Gallon even getting a chance here. Marte running away with it. We got Max Muncy going up against Mookie Betts, and it is unfair for Muncy. This card I loved so much. I absolutely love this Mookie Betts card, one of the best cards in the game. Not even close. So much better than Muncy. It's unfair that he has to compete with him because this card is insane. Brandon Crawford also kind of running away with it compared to Mike Yastrzemski. Now, a problem with some of the cards is that they did not get good enough stats. Like, some hitting stats on those cards were, like, below 100. They were in, like, the 80s. 
So it was kind of ridiculous. This card is great, great feeling. 99 defensive better shortstop and great hitting. He is a glitch. Uh, shout out to Kev Bredo, who is uh, grinding parallel. Good luck with that to him. For the Guardians, we got Emmanuel Class A. Easily better than Shane Bieber, even though that he was deserving of a good card. He just doesn't play well in MLB The Show. And having Outlier on a, on a cutter is unfair, to say the least. This card is good. Very, very good. Does it, is, it, is it Outlier 1? Yeah, it's Outlier 1. Th th this card is very, very, very good and is going to be unhittable. Hide. Please, this card is scary. The battle between outfielders, Mitch Hanniger versus Kyle Lewis from MLB The Show 20. I'm going with Mitch Hanniger. I always love his swing in MLB The Show, and I just think this card is better than Kyle Lewis's card. Uh, Kyle Lewis does have better defense, better speed, but, you know, Mitch Hanniger is always a glitch. I love Mitch Hanniger cards, and he has better card art. What else can I say? Better card art. I'm going to be going with Sandy Alcantara for the Miami Marlins over Miguel Rojas. Now, the only reason I'm going with Alcantara, and this isn't the greatest finest card, finest card, is because the um, Miguel Rojas sucks really badly. I mean, this card also is outlier. This card isn't bad, but Miguel Rojas also sucks. So, yeah, he's got that going for him. For the Mets, it's really not even close. We have 99 Grom versus Marcus Stroman. It's not even close. You have to choose DeGrom here, and if you don't choose DeGrom, you're utterly wrong. DeGrom is the easy choice here. Don't overthink it. Choose DeGrom. Look, this should also be an easy choice, despite him also being the finest for in MLB The Show 21. This card is slightly better than the last one. It definitely has better hitting, although the, the uh, current version... Uh, MLB Show 21's version is much, much better fielding. If you get him the parallel two, slap him in right diamond defense. But you know, I don't care about defense. This card hit like Barry Bonds. I, I don't, I don't care. This card hit like Bonds, and you know, it was just, it's, it'll be, it just had the better hitting stats. I think this card was better. It's un, like bets. It's unfair to compare this card. It's super unfair to compare this card to 21's version, despite them both being really good. It's just unfair. This card is better. Next, we got Ryan Mountcastle, who, over Anthony Santander, absolutely ran away with it. Now, Santander was not a bad card at all, good switch hitter and all that stuff, but Mountcastle's glitchy. He's got a nice swing. He's got great hitting stats. Pretty decent speed, too, for a first baseman. Mountcastle, don't, don't, don't overthink it. For the Padres, it's closer than it should be. It's closer than it should be, and I can say that. Just because MLB The Show 20, Manny Machado... Man, was that card really good. It was a really good Manny Machado card. But this Tatis card is so amazing that I can't quite give it to him. But I have to give hats off to that Manny Machado card who was an endgame third baseman in MLB The Show 20. But, you know, he cannot compare to Fernando Tatis. Now for the Phillies, you could kind of go either way, and I wouldn't say you were wrong. I'm going to go with Ramuto due to the sheer lack of cards that are in 20, and I need some more content from this game anyway. So we're going to go with Ramuto here, even though you could say Wheeler, and I'm honestly leaning more towards Wheeler. But, you know, I need some MLB Show 20 content, so we're throwing JT Ramuto here instead. Um, I never really used this card, but when I did, okay, apparently when I did, he was insane for me. So, yeah, maybe Ramuto. Next, we have Jacob Stallings versus this beast of a card. I'm not even going to waste my time entertaining the thought of Stallings Reynolds by a, by, by a landslide. Next, we got the battle of two awful, awful cards in the form of Lance Lynn and Nate Lau. Going with Nate Lau, you could say Lance Lynn, and I wouldn't argue with it. Both of these cards are terrible. Rangers are also terrible. Did you look at that? We got another Lau. Brandon Lau this time over Nick Anderson. Now that Nick Anderson carved in MLB Show 20 wasn't particularly that awful. Uh, I just think Brandon Lau is more glitchy and, you know, he's got nicer card art. So I, and I also don't think relievers really get the edge most times. So I'm going with Lau. Similar thing with the Red Sox. I mean, J.D. Martinez is basically a bench bat. There's really no other value. I mean, a lot of people liked Bogarts because he was kind of like a glitchy card. I was okay with him when I apparently used him once or twice. But anyway, you know, Bogarts was a good card, and he's always glitchy, and will be the show. So, yeah, him over, him over Martinez. Reds, this was a tough choice. This Bauer card was not good for me, but it was good for a lot of people, and I could get carved up by this Bauer card. Uh, and I honestly don't think Jonathan India is all that good, so that doesn't help his cause. So I am going to go with Trevor Bauer on the red side of things. So, I mean, you you could make the argument for India. I don't believe you. This Bauer card could be really effective if you knew how to pitch with them. 
Next, we got CJ Crone. This card, I cannot wait to try out. Like, he looks so glitchy. Such a glitch. Now, I was excited to have MLB The Show 20 Trevor Story, but he turned out to be pretty awful. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed by that. CJ Crone, amazing hitter. I love his swing. Oh, better than Story. Now, still more thing with Soto. You could interchange either of these. Like, I'm 100% honest. You could interchange 20 or 21 Salvador Perez, and you would be completely right. But I'm going to go with this Salvador Perez because it was the best catcher in the game. I still think there's arguably better catchers in MLB to show 21 that you could put over him. And besides, I loved hitting with this card. That's why I'm giving him the edge because I liked him better. I haven't gotten a chance to try the other one out yet, but I'm probably going to be rocking Jimmy Fox anyway, who's got similar defense and he can hit better in my opinion. So not going to be rocking with Perez, but you know. This, this card was insane. Either you could interchange them, and I wouldn't call you wrong. For the Tigers, we got a battle of Jimer Candelario versus Jimer Candelario, and I'm going with this Jimer Candelario due to the fact it's more balanced. In MLB Show 20, it has much better stats against lefties, but its stats against righties are terrible. So I'm giving the edge to this one because it's a well more well-rounded card, and I think it's better to not be great against one side and just be good against both sides, in my opinion. I'm more of a uh, balance type of dude when it comes to this kind of stuff. For the White Sox, we with Yoan Moncada. Now, this card isn't talked about a lot, but I cannot wait to try it out in BR. I love Yoan Moncada cards. They are always glitchy, and having a boosted one, moi, moi, moi. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Better than Tim Anderson last year. I hate Tim Anderson cards, and I hate Tim Anderson. Anderson hits it in the air to right. Back at the wall, and the White Sox win it! Finally, for the Twins, we got Nelson Cruz. This year's Jorge Polanco, you could arguably make an argument for. I don't like Jorge Polanco cards, in my opinion, so that's why I'm going with Nelson Cruz. And that is actually going to be the final finest for MLB The Show 20. Now, you may notice that this is a bit of a weird order, and as the end, it's in alphabetical order from team name, so that's why the Yankees are last. So um, I'm going to say this now. Ten cards that I think personally were better in MLB The Show 20 than MLB The Show 21. That's how I thought about it. You could say I'm wrong. You can believe whatever you want. But, you know, I thought these 10 cards were better. To round out the video, we got my New York Yankees and 99. Garrett Cole will be finishing this off better than the terrible DJ LeMahieu last year. I hate DJ LeMahieu cards so much. I, ha I hate his cards. I love LeMahieu. I just hate his cards. I can't hit with them. Anyway, going to be rounding things off with Garrett Cole, who is better than LeMahieu. Anyway, uh, if you did enjoy today's video of comparing finest cards from MLB to Show 20 to MLB Show 21, there are currently there are 20 cards that are better in 21 compared to the 10 that I think were better in 20. That is just my opinion. If you have any other opinions, yes, I was a bit more lenient towards 20. Um, and if I was being completely strict and honest, unbiased, I think it would probably be closer to 25 to 5. But, you know, I wanted to make it more of a fair matchup so I wasn't sitting in MLB to show 20 for like 20 seconds. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm your gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you again.